Haydi. Eci yaranı. Bootstrap in its latest version 4.5 has brought out a code for embedding video for different screen sizes like in the aspect ratio of 21 is to 9, 16 is to 9, 4 is to 3 and 1 is to 1. Now the ratio 21 is to 9 is for uh, ultra wide screen devices with the dimensions so greater than 1920 pixels. And the ratio of uh, 16 is to 9 is for standard devices with dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels. The aspect ratio of 9 is to 16 is for vertical display. And the ratio of 4 is to 3 is for dimensions of 1440 by 1080 pixels. And uh, the dimension 1 is to 1 is where the video you want to display it in a square, a square aligned video. Now, depending upon the requirement, you can select the screen size for embedding a video. The standard uh, size, however, would be 16 is to 9. Let's see how to do this. So, uh, you can go to the text editor, like I will be using for this video the text editor of VS Code. This is the VS Code text editor. I already opened uh, a folder by the name embed in the on the desktop and inside that I have already opened the index file. Now this is the index file with the bare code in the VS code. Now here now we need to go to the bootstrap and then uh, bring out the code like for bootstrap if you go to the documentation get and uh, in the introduction you have the css and js cdn versions like uh, this is for the css so copy that and then come and paste it uh, at the top in the header section and then come to the javascript section and then copy that code cdn code and then paste it at the bottom of the body. Okay. Now that the CSS and the JavaScript code is uh, pasted, next we add the link the CSS file. For that, uh, let's add that tab of link, and here we say. Uh, style dot CSS. We add the style sheet and then uh, coming to the embed folder, like let us open uh, one more new file. If I click here, it opens a new file and uh, give it a name, let us say style dot CSS. Enter and it opens a blank CSS file. Now that uh, the style sheet is linked, next we will go on copy the code for the embedding. Now, the code is available uh, in uh, getbootstrap.com and if you go to utilities, in that you will find the embed and if you scroll down, you find this is the aspect ratio code. Now, I will copy the entire code and then come and paste it here. Now, this is as you can see the aspect ratio of 21 by 9, this is 16 by 9, this is 4 by 3 and this is 1 by 1. So, all the 4 will be uh, there. Next, uh, I am going to change the title of the page. Let us say embedding a video, video in a website and uh, this same title. Let us include it uh, in a H1 heading and this one I will give it a class of text center so that uh, it will get centered. And if I look at it in the browser, I have this heading embedding a video in a website. Next, we will take uh, 
the aspect ratio 1 by 1, by 21 by 9, 16 by 9, 4 by 3 and 1 by 1. So for that uh, we need to first get the code for the video. Like I have this video of Pondicherry tour and if I come to the share option here, you have the first icon of embed, you click on that, YouTube provides the code of the iframe width and height, but I am not to take the width and height, but I will only take the code. Copy the code and then uh, paste it in all the four of them. This is the second one. And then the third one. and the fourth one. Just come and edit uh, the code at the end. A small change here. Okay. Now that we have the code. This is how the videos will look in the browser. They are of different widths. Now let's study one by one. Like I'll first take uh, the aspect ratio of 21 by 9 and disable the other three. Okay, now we have the video for the 21 by 9 and this is the largest uh, viewport size. Now, if we look at it to the full width, like the video will go through the entire uh, screen size because we have not defined the specific width and height. Now, if I have to define a specific width and height, then I need to come to the style sheet. Now, here, first uh, let me give a CSS reset command, like removing all the paddings, padding is zero and also margin. And the margin will be zero and then also say box sizing border dash box next i need to reduce the size of this uh, video is i don't want it to go through the full viewport uh, height and width so here we need to take this class of embed responsive i copy this class come to the style sheet and then um, here I say width, I will restrict it say 540 pixels, that's what uh, the YouTube width was saying, say 540 pixels and height of say 315 pixels. Since I am reducing the height and the width, so I will give the margin to be as zero and auto so that uh, it will get, the image will get centered. Now, as you can see, the size of the video has come down to 540 pixels width and 315 pixels height. Now, if I have to give some margin on top of this, so that there is some gap between uh, the heading and the video, then I need to target uh, the next class of embed responsive item. So, I pick up this class. And uh, here I will say padding to the top. I will give say two rams of padding. You can see now we have two rams of padding on top. So this is how can uh, design a video uh, either to a full uh, width and height or specific width and height. Like instead of 540, suppose I say uh, 640. If I increase the width, so you can see the width increases. Similarly, if I increase the height, say 415, you can see the height of the video will increase to 415. So as per the requirement and the space available in the web page, this can be done. Now this was the first aspect ratio of 21 by 9. Now let me uh, enable the second one, 16 by 9, and then see what is the difference. Now coming to the second one, 
Now this is how the video will look because it has the same uh, height and width. Now suppose I disable this uh, height and width, then you can see this is how to look for the entire page, the full width. And this is how we look at the smaller width. And this is uh, and these widths are responsive. Like as you go on increasing or decreasing the size, the video size also will automatically adjust. And they are responsive from all the four of them. So this is 16 by 9. And uh, if I enable it, it will come to the same width and height as we want it. Like you can see, it is uh, come up to 540. Let's say let's make it 540 and uh, 315, the standard YouTube size. Okay, here it will look. And now if I reduce it to a smaller viewport, you can see it gets adjusted to the smaller viewport. Then, coming to the next uh, aspect ratio, say 4 by 3 aspect ratio, you can see for 4 by 3, also it is come to the same level. And here also, if I don't disable the height and the width, you can see it will go through the entire uh, viewport uh, width and height. Then coming to the last one, like uh, let me disable 4 by 3 aspect ratio and come to the last ratio of 1 is to 1. And here also you can see it is showing the same width and height because we have restricted the width and height. If you go to the full width, this is how it will look in a square form for ratio of 1 is to 1. Any of these aspect ratios you can select and uh, align the videos to the requirement. Now let me enable all of them again. Now this has become very useful for uh, including videos in the web pages. Right, this is how they will look. If I have to align them, then uh, I need to take put them uh, in a section. Let me put it name in a section and then we will align them and see. Add a section. Come down here and close the section. And coming to the style sheet, here we target the tag of section. And here we say mm, display flex. Now if you see that all four of them are going in one next to each other. This may not be a real life situation where you have all the four aspect ratios in one place. But for the purpose of explanation, I have taken them so that how to align those videos, how to place them depending on the viewport size and also depending on the space within the website. So I hope this was useful. Thank you.